Howdy everyone, welcome to a Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak video, and in this video I'll be talking about the Lasset Realm. It's just a speculation. Now if you don't know, the jungle has been announced, and yes, uh, my pr I'll talk about my previous uh, predictions, which I got most of it right. Kind of crazy, because I never got my predictions right. But anyways, we have... This is a, this is a cool image, by the way, a nice cool little... Uh, uh, desktop background. Anyways, as you can see, we have Velociprey. Now, in the jungle, Velocipreys are, are around, you know, in the caves and also around just uh, the moist lands. Um, now, a lot of other small monsters that can also arrive, uh, but we'll just do another speculation video on that. So, we have Velociprey. These are Velociprey. Velocidrome is much larger, has a larger triangular crest on top, claws are more sharper and stuff like that, and yeah. Now, I have to say that they did, did a really good job making them HD, because, you know, in the old games, they were very much, you know, very meager. They, they, <laughs> they looked so scrawny, honestly. And now they look like a bit of a meaty monster. I wonder how they're going to interact, because if you don't know, Velocipreys always bounce around. I'm not even joking. Every single time they they jump over here, then they jump over here. Every single time. It's so annoying. But of course, uh, I did a video recently playing Generations Ultimate and I took down a Velocidrome. That's the question. Will Velocidromes appear because Velocipreys is over here? Now, here's the thing. When it came to Rise, a lot of uh, small monsters were there and were missing large counterparts. Will they bring those large counterparts in this game? I kind of doubt that. But when you look at Ermitor, you know, Ermitor was seen in the demo, in the in the uh, rare feed demo that, uh, you know, certain amount of people got to play. Um, and they got to take down a Seregios in the Sandy Plains and take down a... a, a uh, was it a Luna Garon? I think it was a Luna Garon. Yeah, a Luna Garon in the Citadel. And obviously, you know, we were able to see some footage and we, we got to see, uh, we got to see the people who uploaded it. Uh, we got to see some of the small monsters and we got to see Ermitor making a return. So this was, this was obviously boiling upon my brain pan. Will Daimyo Ermitor make a return? And that's an important question. And to that I say, I don't know. I, at first I had no idea. But then, yesterday, well in the morning, I was surprised they brought Daimyo. I was so freaking surprised. I had no idea they were going to bring Daimyo. I just thought they were going to bring the small monsters and that's it. Anyways, uh, I don't know if the regular Shianita is going to make a return. I don't know. I mean, we have Shogun Shianita. It kind of makes sense to have this, the juvenile versions, but I don't know. But um, so far, you know, when it comes to Daimyo, Ermita, we got to see him. And, you know, a couple of days before that, we got to see Ermita. So, you know, it does make sense to have the large versions of some of these monsters make an appearance. But at the same time, Rise had a lot of small monsters and they did not have their, their adult counterparts or their alpha counterparts, you know? So when it comes to Velociprey, will they have their Velocirome leader? I doubt that. I really do. I do feel like they will just have a couple of small monsters without their counterparts because I don't think they're going to bring them in. I don't think so. I don't know, to be fair. And if Velocidrome does come, that's going to be good. More the merrier, as I say. And... Velocidrome will possibly be a very early monster, possibly, you know. And I wonder if, if they will bring him. I, I think it's a very low chance. But since we had uh, Ermitor, and then we got Daimyo Ermitor, we don't know. Maybe they might do things differently in this game. After all, there is a different director. So maybe they are doing things tad differently when it came to Rise. Because Rise, you know, we had uh, Zamites without Zamatrios. Jagras without Great Jagras, Bullfangers without, without uh, Bulldrome, and, and the other uh, Lava Leviathan, I forgot what they call them. I forgot what you call them, but they did not have their 
their adult counterparts. So it is pretty interesting, you know. Some of these monsters never got their adult counterparts, and I don't think they will. But when it comes to Sunbreak, things might change, yes. We might actually get Velocidrome, but at the same time, we might not. So I have to say, if you're hoping for him, take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt, because it's kind of likely he might return, kind of unlikely he might not return. So basically, be in the middle of the situation. You know, and just, just you know, hope for the best, obviously. But, you know, and if he doesn't come, it's not the end of the world. I'm sure he'll make a return in the future. Anyways, bye-bye.